I love this movie so much. And as I'm watching it, I'm thinking to myself, is this going to end up on my top 10 list this year? The Spectacular. Katie Walsh is here from Tribune to join me for a review of Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. And I'm so happy she's here so we can talk about bras and periods and boys we think are cute. (laughs) So uh, thank you for joining me, Katie. Thank you for having me. Good to see you. If you've not subscribed yet, we'd love to have you join us. I know we're heading into all the big summer blockbuster stuff, but we will always take time for a film like Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. And we have all kinds of great friends who join in like Tim Grierson and Dave White. And today we have Katie Walsh. So, please, my friend, describe what this movie is about. If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you you think you need one? Well, if you never read Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. It's like a classic Judy Bloom young adult novel about a girl who moves to New Jersey in sixth grade and has to contend with all the gender politics and, you know, complications of puberty in sixth grade and being 12. And the film is this really beautiful, warmly entertaining, just family dramedy about like normal stuff happening. (laughs) It's not (laughs) nothing, you know, extremely bad happens, but it's just this like really compelling story of a family the year uh, in the life of a family. The film is adapted by Kelly Freeman Craig, who did Edge of 17, and she directed it, and it's produced by James L. Brooks. And I just think they have the exact right sensibility for this um, movie. And they I think they've beefed up. It's been a really long time since I read the book, but Same. I think that they beefed up the per- parent characters. Rachel McAdams plays Margaret's mom, and we see a little bit more of her life. Um, But what I think is really special about this film is that it's not just about Margaret dealing with puberty. It's about how she figures out how to be a person in the world. So she's having these conversations with God. Her dad's Jewish. Her mom's Christian. There's all these questions of religion. And she's doing a research project on different religions. And she's like finding out the things that divide us. Uh, or bring us together. And she's sort of like figuring out her own moral compass. Um, I think this film is like so beautiful because it's incredibly radical as well. It's Mm -hmm. like, it shouldn't be revolutionary to talk about female bodies, periods, boobs uh, in the, you know, 1970s, uh, 50 years ago, this was revolutionary. And somehow we are in a place where it's radical again to like talk about female sexuality and women's bodies. And it's shocking that it, this movie is as relevant and radical today as the book was seven yeah. years ago or we 50 reviewed, years ago. Sorry. Yeah, for sure. Um, Dave White came on a couple of days ago. We reviewed the documentary Judy Bloom Forever, which is great. And we talked I about loved how- it. So good, isn't it? She's yeah. Just, she's so warm and true and just an awesome cultural figure to this day. I talked about how you know she was banned in the 80s and she's being banned again now. So unfortunately, the, yeah, the radical empathy of Judy Bloom is is uh, is threatening again all of a sudden. Yeah, I love this movie so much. And as I'm watching it, I'm thinking to myself, is this going to end up on my top 10 list this year? Because it just it's might. It's great. It's pretty freaking great. I mean, I remember reading this book and a lot of Judy Bloom when I was a kid. And what they have done here, what Kelly Freeman Craig has done here with just the tone of it and staying true to the source material, it's created a film that is so refreshingly earnest. I mean, so mm-hmm. many movies for kids these days are so winky, so meta, so ironic, and just so cool and detached. And this is just warm and sweet and true to the emotions and the confusion that you go through when you are a boy or a girl at that age. Yeah. And even though a lot of the details in Judy Bloom's writing are really dated and specific, like the the universal emotions that she taps into are timeless and will always resonate. And um, Abby Ryder Fortson is fantastic as Margaret. Again, like you truly feel like you are watching 70s kids. And the fact that- I mean, you, she's done like quite a bit. She was um, Cassie in Ant Man. She, mm-hmm. She's Paul Rudd's daughter in that. But like the rest of the cast, like the kids are so well cast. Yes. Like they, you feel like you're watching truly 70s kids and not 25 year olds. <laughs> Kelly Freeman Craig 
as a filmmaker is just really good at nailing the nuances of this strange transitional time um, of and, and making it seem real and authentic. Like all the girls really were age appropriately cast, um, but it also isn't infantilizing towards them, uh, towards their characters. Elle Graham, she plays Nancy, the sort of mean girl that Margaret kind of falls in with. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't really even have a choice. She's like, you're my neighbor. You're going to be my friend. Join my secret club. No socks allowed. Um, she is sort of the antagonist, but the film really gives her moments of vulnerability, totally. funny moments. Mm -hmm. um, she really nails this awkward transitional age as well. And um, that sort of bravado of someone who's actually quite insecure. I think the casting's great. Rachel McAdams is so good. Benny Safdie plays Margaret's dad. Love seeing him act. And um, yeah, it's just, it, it just flows. It's got a great rhythm. It's fast. It's fluid. I think the filmmaking is like really impeccable. And the performances are lovely. I just have all positive things to say about this movie. <laughs> I have, the, I have the tiniest negative thing to say, which is that maybe a couple of the supporting characters are not as well developed as I would have liked. But for the most part, um, everyone gets a chance to shine. Rachel McAdams is just so warm and earthy and lovely and really authentically depicts like when you're trying to be the best mom you can be, but it's hard in a world where maybe you don't fit in totally. Like she wants to join him, but she's not the perfect polished suburban mom, Kathy Bates, total scene stealer with just the slightest arch of her eyebrow or facial expression. She's hilarious. Um, yeah, everyone's really great in this. And the production design. Is yes, like I want to shout that. Steven Socklad or Steve Socklad, who did Barb and Star. Oh, perfect. Yes. And we and gave him too. an award. We did. I did not realize it was the same guy, but now that yes. makes absolute sense because like every plant, every mm -hmm. piece of art, every piece of mismatched furniture, whatever it is, is it tells a full story of who this family is at various points in, in their lives. Yeah, really, really well done. The costume design is so well done. Um, everyone's great in this. I cried. Like I knew what was going to happen. There's a pivotal moment at the end. I knew it was going to happen. I cried anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say about the production design, as soon as I saw the macrame plant hangers, I was like, yeah. they nailed it. And this is like the second frame of the movie. <laughs> I was yeah. like, they nailed it. And so, and it, it it's a part, it tells the story in a way, the production design um, about sort of the journey that the family is going on. There's like a subplot about a couch and how um, Rachel McAdams character just like cannot get her shit together <laughs> to buy a couch when they move. Um and I think what's really cool about the different characters is like, it's all about this search for identity. And so the mom is struggling with her identity in this new move to the suburbs. And even uh, Kathy Bates' character, the grandmother, she's searching for her identity as a, you know, a widow whose uh, kids have moved away and she doesn't really know what to do with herself. So they all have like little tiny arcs that are all part of this larger story, which is, I think, like emphasizing the fact that intimate personal stories are important and they will help to bring us together, which I think is just a beautiful message. Totally. Rachel McAdams has this incredible scene. I don't think this is in the book where she explains what happened with her own parents. That is just like, she nails the the highs and lows of that. Every moment of that is just so true and so perfect. So yeah, she's great. Benny Safdie just belongs in the seventies all yes. the time. <laughs> I love seeing him act too. Yeah, it's just, it's so well done. And I walked away from this going, that was pretty damn perfect. So I'm yeah. going to say like 9.5. I'd say 9.5 too. Okay, let's do that. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot recommend this movie highly enough. Are you there, Mark? Are you there? God, it's me. Margaret is in theaters. Take your kid. Have a talk afterward. Enjoy. Thanks, Katie. Thank you.